Hello and welcome to Lamplighter. Today is August 4. Today in our daily Bible reading, we continue to read about God's prophet Jeremiah and his message to the people of God. All the while, while we have been reading Jeremiah, we have seen God speaking through him, warning the nation of Judah in the south that captivity and exile are coming to them at the hands of the Babylonians. So all this time, Jeremiah has been bringing this prophecy to the people in Judah, the people of God. But today is kind of interesting in our reading because he's not speaking to the people of God anymore. Now he's directing his prophecies, the judgments of God, against the oppressors of Judah, namely, in this case, Egypt. So we begin with Jeremiah's words of caution or maybe words of judgment against Egypt. And we read, the defeat is coming at Karshemish. This is the message against the army of Pharaoh Necho, king of Egypt, which was defeated at Karshemish on the Euphrates River by Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. It's interesting that today's reading starts with sort of that summary statement of what is about to happen. And now we go back a step, go back in time to see how all of this happened, how all of this developed. Babylon will subdue Egypt is the next chapter heading. The nations will hear of your shame. This is a word to Egypt. The nations will hear of your shame. Your cries will fill the earth. One warrior will stumble over another. Both will fall down together. Take your positions and get ready for the sword devours those around you. Why will your warriors be laid low? They cannot stand, notice this, for the Lord will push them down. It's really God who is fighting. It's really God who's bringing this judgment against Egypt. Pack your belongings for exile, he says, you who live in Egypt, for Memphis will be laid waste and lie in ruins without inhabitant. The day of disaster is coming upon them, the time for them to be punished. It has often been wondered by the people of God why God is punishing them, but not punishing their enemies. And here God is saying through Jeremiah, Egypt is now about to be punished for all that they have done in wreaking havoc against God's people. The Lord Almighty, the God of Israel says, I am about to bring punishment on Ammon, God of Thebes, on Pharaoh, on Egypt and her gods, and her kings, and on those who rely on Pharaoh. I will hand them over to those who seek their lives, to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and his officers. Later, however, Egypt will be inhabited as in times past, declares the Lord. It's interesting here that even though God is handing over Egypt to Nebuchadnezzar and the Babylonians, he even gives them a glimmer of hope, saying they're not going to be completely annihilated because there is coming a time when they will re-inhabit their land. So again, notice who's in control. The story is not about Pharaoh Necho. The story is not about Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. The story is about God, who is in control of all of these nations. Now, while all of this judgment is coming against Egypt, the people of God in Judah must certainly be afraid, but God then, through Jeremiah, turns to his own people in Judah and gives them some words of reassurance. Do not fear, O Jacob, my servant. Do not be dismayed, O Israel. I will surely save you out of a distant place, your descendants from the land of their exile." Jacob will again have peace and security, and no one will make him afraid. Do not fear, O Jacob, my servant, for I am with you, declares the Lord. Though I completely destroy all the nations among which I scatter you, I will not completely destroy you. I will discipline you, but only with justice. I will not let you go entirely unpunished. God says your sin is going to be punished. You are going to be in exile, but I'm going to hold all your enemies accountable. They are going to be destroyed, but you don't have to worry. I know whose people you are. I know which ones of all the people are mine, and I will not destroy you. Punish? Yes. Destroy? 
No. So God continues to give them hope. And he does so with that theme that's woven all the way through scripture. I will be with you. You don't need to be afraid, he says. I will be with you. It's the Philistines we read who are in jeopardy. The day has come to destroy all the Philistines and to cut off all her survivors who could help Tyre and Sidon. Again, the story is about a God who is in control, not only of his people, but of all the nations of peoples in the world. God is sovereign. He is in control. His will will be accomplished. We serve that same God today, and we are so thankful, aren't we, to know that no matter what happens in our lives, God is in control, that God will reward those who are faithful and obedient to him. Isn't it great to be a lamplighter? His word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. I hope you have a blessed day.